Hello and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006. Right now, we got the 16th ranked Savannah State Tigers hosting the Bethune-Cookman Wildcats in ACC play in Savannah, Georgia. Tigers looking to get something going here. They've had a rough season. They've lost two straight leading up to this game. Their offense, number 10 in the country. But, I mean, they've struggled against quality opponents this season. And 31st ranked defense, rush defense, 58th. I mean, this isn't really the Tigers team that we know from seasons one and two. So we're going to look to get them back on track and, you know, contend for the ACC championship. Let's take a look at the ACC standings. See what's popping over here. And right now, in the Coastal, it's not even close. So Norfolk State has already won the ACC Coastal, folks. So they will most likely be taking on probably Bryant. I mean, if they lose another conference game, though, NC and State could leapfrog them because the Aggies, as we already know, beat the Bryant Bulldogs this season. So ACC is a little wild this year. So Savannah State, no shot at the Coastal Division. We will not be seeing them in the ACC Championship game at all. So that's going to be really weird. Let me share this in the Discord. Slap the like button for me, guys. Subscribe if you're new. And join our Discord community to get your college football career started in the offseason for one of our 12 schools. All right, that's shared. We're Gucci. We're good to go. Let me pull up my chat on my phone. Man, we'll get this thing popping, guys. All right, we run the Oklahoma offense for the Tigers. Seven of our schools have actual head coaches in the Discord community. And they select the playbooks. And they do formation subs, all that fun stuff. They help with uh, recruiting targets. And what else? What else? The school budget, all that fun stuff. All right, who we got in the chat? We got Parker Thomas in the chat. What's up, man? That's all we got. Just two viewers. What's going on here? Was it something I said? It's so hurtful. All right. I really want to get MJ Gator Jr. Just popping off in this game. Because we haven't seen him do a whole lot of anything this season. And it's really frustrating because he's such a great player. Alright, we are going to be on offense first to start the ball game. Marvin Joseph, what's up buddy? Rooting for Bethune Cookman, I like it. Got some HBCU football tonight. Under the lights in Savannah, Georgia. Here's Rocky Clearwater. Sophomore halfback on for the return. Let's take a look at the offense for Savannah State. Led by junior quarterback Jeremy Carroll. We're also going to see Aaron Patrick in a couple formations at quarterback. The backfield, MJ Gator Jr., the Heisman Trophy winner from Season 1. Evan Barber, Zane Roebuck, and Rocky Clearwater. Matty Ice is at fullback. The receiving core is Zay Jones. Jarmel Lewis, Pete Mitchell, and Anthony Numa. And at tight end, Matt Meeks. And there's Clearwater. He gets a carry on the first play of the game. Gets one yard. On the second down. Nine yards to go. Oh boy, what a catch by Zay Jones. Let's go. Unreal. Who is FG, Parker? What you talking about, man? All right, MJ gets the carry and gets a few yards. He's been bottled up in quite a few games this season. It's very depressing. Alright, here we 
go. Pete Mitchell wide open, but Aaron Patrick throws him out of bounds. Third down and seven now. Oh boy, what was that animation? We're going to lose two yards on the play and have to punt it away. Boy, oh boy. And a very good kick. Might have outkicked the coverage, though. And he's going to muff the punt. And it's a face mask. Unreal. JP Parker in the chat. What's up, JP? And as always, pop your Arnold Palmer can. Half and half, so good. All right, let's try some defense, please. It's been such a rough season for the Tigers. And Cody Lee Jr. makes a stop, but that's a face mask. All right, starting off just really good tonight. Let's take a look at that defense. On the front, Wooly Madden, Kyle Rose, and James Tweedy at defensive end. And while I'm remembering it, I'm going to go make sure that Tweedy is actually in here at the end. I don't know why, but for some reason, see, he's a starter right there. So I had him as starter last game, and they just never put him in the game. The rest of the defense, Rashad Farrell, Rashad Allen, and Rashawn Griffin at linebacker. The secondary is Chris Numa, Jericho Sabaranas, and Cody Lee Jr. and Parker Thomas at free safety. And this play is blown up. It's a broken play. And Woods is dropped at the line of scrimmage. Slim Chris in the chat. What's up, Chris? That pop deserves a sponsorship. I know, that was a nice little pop on that can, huh? The action, backwards pass. And it's a fumble. Cody Lee Jr. recovers it. And that is a scoop and score for Savannah State. Let's go. straight games we've seen a scoop and score in the first quarter you'd love to see it if the offense can't do it score some points on the defense why not you always got a choice Parker you always got a choice buddy All right, seven nothing. And not a very good kick, feels bad. Michael out of bounds, eh, maybe not. I've seen worse. And nice tackle at the 22 yard line. And back to defense we go. I have no idea who forced that fumble on the last drive, but I like it. Actually, I know who it was. It was Chris Numa, the All-American cornerback that forced the fumble. I convinced you to buy Arnold Palmer. I like it. If we could get a sponsor from Arnold Palmer, that would just be so huge. That would be crazy. It will probably never happen. But, you know, it's all good. Babineau with a carry. Breaks a tackle. And it's going to come back. That's holding. All right, second down and 16 from the 16. Quick pass left side, and Cook has it. Picks up five yards. Third down and 11. They're going to come out with two tight ends and three running backs. What kind of play calling is this? Quick 
Quick pass, right side, overthrown, out of bounds. And that's a three and out for the Wildcats. What should you buy for the Xbox One? I mean, NASCAR Heat wouldn't be bad. I mean, you don't have to buy something just because it's on a new system, you know? Or a newer system. I mean, look at me. I'm playing PS2, man. I'm having the time of my life. Chris Newman, nice juke. Nice spin up to the 39. Yeah, but just, just because something's new doesn't mean that it's good. It might look pretty, but it don't play pretty. So you, you do have a choice. Instead of spending money on on a game that you're just not going to actually have fun with, you know, spend some money on, on something that you know you'll enjoy. What is with these animations in this game right now? I've had some crazy animations tonight. I don't get it. 91st ranked defense in the country for the Wildcats. Can I get some blocking? MJ to the outside. He's got speed. He's got a touchdown for Savannah State. Let's go. Been waiting for a play like that forever. It's so good to see him break a big run. I'm not sure where the safety was on this play, but he was taking a nap, I think. That's all good. We'll, we'll take the penalty. It's fine. And the extra point from Johnson is up and right down the middle. Yeah, 360 doesn't work. That's a feels bad. Yeah, man, if you if you want to play something that you're gonna actually have fun with and you think you would enjoy, you know, say a PS2 game, PS2's I bought mine for 50 bucks. You know? It. You can buy a PS2 and a couple games for the amount of money that you'd spend on a brand new game for one of the newer systems. First down and 10 for the Wildcats. They're going to go with a reverse here, and that's first down because I took the wrong angle, and we force another fumble. Let's go! Yo, what up, Tom? How's it going, man? A dollar for every 10 points Savannah State scores? You want to spend $10? Oh, my goodness. I don't think we're doing that well. Offense is a little rough. It's been like that all season. Rocky Clearwater gets the carry. Nice blocking. And Clearwater picks up eight yards. Let's give it off to Zane Roebuck. Roebuck gets the carry. Nice blocking. Gets the first down inside the red zone. Okay, PS2 on Lego for $75 with two controllers, two memory cards. Nice. Yeah, I got mine for $50. It came with two controllers, and I think it came with one memory card. That was, I don't even know how long ago. Six, seven years ago. That pass is caught. Zay Jones, touchdown Savannah State. Favorite system of all time is the PS2. They're diverse with their games. Yes, sir. It is the best gaming system ever, in my opinion. And it's not even close to me. 
the games were just so amazing back in the day, you know? So innovative. Tigers on top, 21-0 at home over the Bethune Cookman Wildcats. Yeah, nice tackle at the 18. It's coming back, clipping again here. It's back to their eight-yard line. I want a safety. Let's get it. And a false start. Oh, my goodness. Wildcats shooting themselves in the foot right here. This is a little rough. First down and 14 from the four. Can we get him in the end zone? Pullback dive. I got caught on the referee. And that definitely messed me up on that play. Say PS4 is good with non-sports games. Well, I don't really play non-sports games, so it's not really for me. I mean, I play Apex Legends with my brother. That's pretty much it. Nice broken tackle by Cook. And he might go all the way. Instead, Cody Lee Jr., a track legend, <laughs> gets him inside the 20-yard line. That was a really good run. That looked like clipping on Kyle Rose in the background, but they didn't call it that time. $2 for any safety or fullback touchdown. Well, if I get a fullback touchdown, Matty Ice will be really happy. This defense has been awful this season. I don't get it. Full of all Americans. Look at this, he's running free for like seven yards before they finally get to him. Final play of the first quarter. If they even snap it, and they do. And we get the sack, let's go. Rashad Allen with the sack. 21 nothing. as we enter the second. Zach Sandler, the chat head coach for the Savannah State Tigers. What's up, Zach? How you doing, buddy? They're down at 14. How'd you give that up? I'm assuming you're talking about the big run. It's because it's, really? How? How? How did we give that up? Touchdown, Wildcats. What is this? I don't know. The defense for the Tigers this season, it... I don't even know. There's so many so many questions I have and there's just no answers. Extra point up and good. It's 21-7 now. Ninety-two yard drive. Wow. I don't get it. This defense is great. There's so many Discord players on this team. No, you should definitely tune in, Zach. 100%. Here's Pete Mitchell turning up to the 23-yard line. Don't ask Kyle. Just blame EA. <laughs> blame them for all my problems. Aaron Patrick is in at quarterback. Zay Jones is wide open at receiver and inside Wildcat territory. Beautiful throw from the freshman quarterback. Great route as well. One man to beat, just couldn't quite get past him. Have they scored? Listen to the band. I know HBCU bands are amazing. I love it. D 
Deep shot, one-on-one. -on -one. Pete Mitchell is there, and oh, it's deflected and picked. Oh my goodness. What a deflection. This is insane. Sets his feet. Throws it deep. This rainbow pass. The DB just got way up there. Boy, oh boy. I don't know what it is this season with the Tigers, but we got to figure it out, man. You tune in, suddenly you suck. No, you, the defense has sucked all season. That is a fact. The offense has been hit or miss, too. It's been rough, man. Second down and seven. Get him. Nice tackle. If you get your first INT before the season ends, you give a donation. I appreciate you, Zachary. You'll get one eventually. I mean, Jackhammer finally got one. If he can get one, anybody can get one. Third down and nine for the Wildcats. Cody Lee Jr. in the zone at free safety. And that pass hits the grass, incomplete. Nice stop for the Tiger defense. Could still get 70 points. I mean, there's still plenty of time. Didn't suck the first three games. I can't even remember that far back, honestly. I just, I just really remember struggling in, in a few of the games. It's been rough. Chris Numa on the part return. Nice spin. Oh, what is that? And Cody Lee Jr., who is out here blocking for his, his cornerback, gets hurt. Oh, my goodness. How many games am I playing? As many as I want to. Sorry, we're going to turn this thing around in Savannah. Let's get it. Zane Roebuck gets the carry. Oh, you got to get that block from me. Oh, my goodness. Matt Meeks, let's go. <laughs> Finally get something to go our way. We recover a fumble. Man. Just insane. Oh, the humanity. And Cody Lee Jr., out for the game. Fantastic. Just glorious, I tell you. Oh, man. They just let him run right through the line. Just right through it. I'm just not going under center for the rest of this game. Destroyed Boise State. Played well against Jacksonville. Got stopped by VMI. Haven't been the same since. Pretty much. <laughs> MJ Gator Jr. gets the carry. Can you please get that block? Oh my goodness. How does he miss that block? We're going to figure this offense out, guys. We're going to figure it out. All right. Pete Mitchell on the corner route. Third down and 16. Pete Mitchell. Oh my goodness. Can you get some air under that pass, please? I don't know, Coach. What do you think, man? Should we make a switch at quarterback or what? I don't know what's going on with the offense, but it's just not working right now. Oh, no. Come on, Sober Honest. Deflect it back. Oh, he hit it, too. What? Get out of here. This is rough. I'm going to use Parker Thomas the rest of the game since Lee is injured. Go 
fullback dive. Babineau gets a couple yards. Tom Schaefer with a $2 super chat. You legend. Appreciate you, buddy. Let's get some hearts in the chat for Tom. Another fullback dive. And over-pursued by Parker Thomas. Feels bad. Man. Patch can see what he can do. I got you, coach. You want me to do it um, at halftime or just right away? I'm not sure if, you know, Jeremy Carroll's like, you know, the issue or not, but I don't know. We gotta, we gotta try something. Oh, what a hit. Rashad Allen comes through unblocked. Sit down, son. Second down at 13. I mean, switching the quarterback's not gonna help the defense, but maybe it'll help the offense just a little bit. I don't know. Can we tackle him? Thank you. Rashad Farrell on the stop. Third down and 11. Did I even go over the defense? I don't even remember if I went over the defense at all. Rashad Allen gets the sack. He's got two in the game. Three tackles for loss as well. Put him in right away. I got you. All right, Chris Numa back to return. Save our timeouts. And Chris Numa going to have to fair catch this at the 13-yard line. Four touchdown returns on the season for him. And let's go ahead and put Aaron Patrick in there at quarterback. We're going to have to switch up the formation subs real quick. Bear with me. Never mind. We're good. All right. Bet. All right. Let's do it. Did I get your donation about two weeks ago in the stream? Uh, I'm not sure, JP. If if you donated during a stream, I would have uh, mentioned it, gave you a shout out. So I'm not sure. Here's Zane Roebuck on the option, gets the pitch, breaks the tackle, and gets the first down. No, he doesn't. What? He's over the line. Can't even get the refs to be on our side at home. What's going on here? Oh boy. No blocking. Patrick gets the first down, gets out of bounds. See, Jeremy Carroll would have been sacked for a loss of 10 right there. And that would have been extremely unfortunate. Matt Meeks in the zone at tight end. Try to get him the football. Can I get some blocking? Matt Meeks, one on one coverage. Matt Meeks, let's go! First down inside the 40. 38 yard reception for the junior tight end. Zay Jones, one on one. Get there. Oh, nice deflection. We got him off sides anyway. Free play. Gator Jr. gets the off-tackle carry. Look out. And he's dropped at the 16. Call a timeout here. 81 yards for MJ. Five carries and a touchdown. Coach up this O-line a little bit. It's a little rough tonight. 92% in the red zone. Not bad. Not the best. Not the worst. Aaron Patrick will keep the football. 
And get it to the 10-yard line. Six-yard carry for the quarterback. Probably going to buy NASCAR Heat. I like it. Quick pass to MJ. He's dropped. And that'll bring up third down and five. I'm afraid to go under center because the old line is just getting pushed back pretty badly in this game. By a D-line that's, you know, they're not even that good. Look at the difference. Look at the O-line compared to the D-line. How are they getting beat? Somebody explain it to me, please. Pete Mitchell, touchdown, Savannah State. No, oh, he's holding. <laughs> no. Come on. Oh, man. Unreal. Zach Sandlin chewing out the ref right now on the sideline. That is just... That, that's unreal. Come on, now. What do we got here? They're down at 15 from the 21. Just going to throw it away. It's all good. Man. That was an unfortunate play. I thought I had a man open for a split second, but I looked at the safety. Yeah, the safety came over. All right, 48-yard field goal attempt. I'm not looking at the chat. I don't think I got enough power on it. Yes, I did. Field goal is good for the Tigers. 24 to 7. And there's one second left in the first half. Looks like the spark he needed. Change of quarterback. It probably was. I also agree on the holding call. That was, that was a little rough. And that is the end of the first half, guys. Savannah State on top, 24 to seven over the Bethune Cookman Wildcats. All right, let's kick it deep. And I, th I think we went over the defense. I'm not sure, I can't remember. And they're gonna return this one out of the end zone. Okay, get wrecked. Grammatica Jr., that was a nice field goal, 48 yarder. All right, let's get it. So we are without Cody Lee Jr. Jeremy Carroll has been benched for the freshman quarterback, Aaron Patrick. I keep over pursuing the Parker Thomas because he's just too damn fast. All right, second down and eight. I'm so used to using uh, Cody Lee Jr. It's a big change. I've used him for three straight seasons. Nice tackle by, I believe that's Soberanus. Could be wrong. Probably am. Whatever. Third down and one for the Wildcats. And Thomas will get the tackle this time, but they get the first down. Just noticed MJ is not an in the zone player anymore. Yeah, it, it's been really rough for him this season, man. I think I'm going to blitz with Parker Thomas here on the right. See what happens. Probably something terrible. And I got absolutely pancaked out of my face right there. My stick skills are too good. That's why I'm over pursuing people. <laughs> I got the halfback single coverage here. And that play, how is that not blown up? Of course there's a face mask. Defensive tackle, Blackstock, called for the penalty. Zach Sandlin and that referee are getting well acquainted this game. First down and five. You like the guy's name? Babineau? I know it is a nice name. I like the spelling. Yeah, that's first down for Babineau. 
Fullback. 14 carries in the game. Oh my goodness. Just keep feeding the beast. It's like French Cajun for new baby. Oh my goodness, Tom. <laughs> Right, good tackle. Yeah, they called like zero face mask penalties in that San Diego game, Zachary. That was that was insane. There was at least five or six that should have been called. Nice tackle. Kyle Rose on the stop. You know you paid these refs better than this. <laughs> well, Bethune Cookman clearly paid them better, sir. How many more games tonight? Um, it depends. I don't know what game's next. If you're in the Discord, uh, check out the pick and see what game's after this one, because I don't remember. Get him! Let's go, Parker! Nice stop! I think the game after this is supposed to be Northern Colorado and Cal Poly, I think? So that would be a computer game. Hammer Jammer, what's up, brother? Hand it off, and he's got the first down and more. Nice back juke. Oh, my goodness. We just can't stop him right now. This is terrible. 153 rushing yards. We just can't stop the run this season with the Tigers. Just can't do it. I don't get it. Run the Colorado Cal Poly. Yeah, that should be a good game. I do need the thumbnail for that one. And the rest of the game's handled when you get a chance, buddy. Love you. Babin on another carry, and that was Tweedy on the tackle, I believe. A true freshman defensive end. Second down and seven. MJ still has 709 yards this season with nine touchdowns. Doesn't seem like it to me at all. Yeah, we'll probably just keep going tonight, guys. I think we have three games left in week 10 after this, after this one. Numa deflects it away. Let's go. Good play by the junior corner. That'll bring a fourth and nine field goal attempt for the Wildcats to make it a two-touchdown ball game. Field goal is up, and it is good. 24 to 10 here in Savannah, Georgia. That was almost a four-minute drive. Unreal. All right, Pete Mitchell should have had a touchdown earlier. Called back on holding, and we can never get to the outside. We're turning it to the right, and I don't understand why. Getting NASCAR Heat 5. Nice, Parker. I think you can customize the controls, buddy. And Patrick on the option. Pitches it out. Why did that defender bounce right off the quarterback and then hit the, the running back? Just just why? Why would you do this? A heptual header. Oh, my goodness. Might just keep on going, man. I don't know. Uh-oh. That was not a good decision. I did not see the linebacker uh, backpedaling until it was too late. But again, instant pressure. Defensive line just just bullying our own line. I don't get it. Look at the comparison. None of them have any composure right now except for the left guard. He's half composed. Unreal. Let's go, Aaron. High snap. See, they can't even get a good snap off. Just chuck it up. Incomplete. Man. This is unbelievable. I don't understand why the O-line is just 
it's so so bad right now when they're all so good at least three of them are all Americans nice tackle by Matt Beeks I believe the tight end Go defense, do something. Get another takeaway. We desperately need something here. Yeah. What's the best snack while we play games? Oh man. You, you always come with some good questions, man. I mean, right now I got some Boston Cream uh, Dunkin' Donuts right next to me. Nice tackle, let's go. Rashad Farrell, seven tackles in the game. Third down and ten for the Wildcats. They are two of seven. Savannah State hasn't completed a third down all game. What? <laughs> and they're going to take off. Get him. Nice tackle. That was Rashawn Griffin on the stop. Well, I do like me some uh, honey barbecue flavor twists. Uh, Fritos, those are just stunning. So good. Peanut M&M's, also really delicious. Chris Numa back to return it from inside his own 10-yard line. And Numa drop at the 12. All right, offense. Just anything, please. Anything at all. Their offense reminds me of Cal Poly at the start of the season. They just can't get out of our own way. Really frustrating. That's going to end the third quarter. Get your fours up in the chat, guys. we got a close one here in Savannah, Georgia. It's 24 to 10. Tigers on top. Oh, the chili cheese Fritos, those are so delicious as well. I think Clearwater, we can't get him going at all. They're down at three. Oh for three on third downs. Let's get this one, please. Matty Ice, the fullback, gets the first down. Let's go. Small victories here. Small victories. Chucking it deep. Jarmel Lewis one on one. And he comes down with it at the 30 yard line. His first catch of the ball game. Big time reception for the junior. Great throw from the freshman quarterback, Aaron Patrick. You love to see it. All right, what do we got here? I'm going to make Lewis go deep again. Deep shot. He's got him. And Jarmel Lewis in for the score. What a throw. The rocket arm of Aaron Patrick delivers a strike. Oh my goodness. That was beautiful. Man, oh man. That was a laser beam. Extra point is up and good. It's 31 to 10. single offensive drive for the Tigers that I've had this season like it's felt like I have a minute left in the Super Bowl and I need a touchdown to win it like it's that much of a struggle it's insane Just 
Did you get maximum football or access football this year? I would go with maximum. Oh, nice tackle. James Tweedy. Let's go, freshman. Loss of two. Blew that play up before the quarterback could hand it off to the split back. Yeah, that camera angle is nice, Zach. I like it. Halfback is in the zone for the Wildcats, who are giving it their all tonight. Parker Thomas misses the tackle, and Chris Numa cleans it up. Tom Schaefer with a $1 super chat. You absolute legend. You hit the spread, Jay. I like it. Third and eight. And we have a false start. Back him up. Let's go. I got one-on-one -on -one coverage with Byram. I want to blitz so badly. But my luck would go out and be wide open. Good pass left side. And Parker Thomas almost had a diving interception. That would have been just so amazing. I wish it happened. He was close. Great effort by the freshman free safety, though. <coughs> Excuse me. I've been talking for five hours straight. Oh my goodness, he just kicked that in the wrong spot. Let's go, Numa. Good thing that guy was fast, or Numa was gone. But has he hit the like button? <laughs> I think we got plenty of likes on the video. I think it's 15 on there. See what we got here. A little play action. A little pump fake Arona. And Zay Jones has it. Zay Jones in the end zone. Touchdown, Savannah State. Let's go. Aaron Patrick, you have arrived, son. I don't know if Jamie Carroll's going to see the field again this season, to be honest with you. All right, 38 to 10. Tigers pulling away now. Give it up to the Wildcats, though. They came in and they played a really good game. A lot better than I expected them to do. You want Patrick starting from here on out? I like it. You heard it here first, folks. Jeremy Carroll has been benched for the freshman quarterback, Aaron Patrick. And, of course, I outran the play and then chased him down. Why would Rashad Farrell not die? The fullback, 152 yards rushing. Who do we got to bench on the defense to, to make them start playing well? I mean, that was my fault. I just, I keep over pursuing because Thomas is so fast. Maybe if I don't use the speed burst at all. <laughs> Doesn't help that I'm getting zero tackle animations as well. Like literally zero. I'm bumping into the, the running backs and nothing's happening at all. Now, if I was using Cody Lee Jr., I'd be having big hit after big hit. Good pass left side. Babino, the fullback, breaking tackles. Chris Numa with another tackle tonight. He's got a handful of them. Yeah, we got to work on this uh, this rush defense. It's It's rough. All right, let's get it. They're down to three. They're going to hand it off. And Cook, did he get it? 
he did not. Fourth and one upcoming. Kyle Rose with the stop on the last play. Tossing it out. And Parker Thomas makes the stop, but they get the first down. This Babineau guy is just amazing. And he's in the zone. I feel like he's been in the zone all game long. Oh my goodness, how do I not pick that? I don't know if the 3 4 is the way to go right now either. It's It's been rough. And Babineau's going to walk in for the touchdown. Wildcats still fighting. Enjoy the band. And Babineau is so good. They're going for the onside kick, of course. Oh, kick it to Numa. Do it. I dare you. Oh. Soberanis. Gets it up past the 50. Try the 4-3 defense. All right, bet. I don't know why. The 3-4 is just it's getting shredded on the ground. I don't get it. Well, all those linebackers... There's no reason for it to be getting destroyed like that. You're not terrible, Parker. I'm just having a rough time controlling your player for the first time. Matty Ice, the fullback gets the carry. Third down in inches. Twenty-five percent on third downs tonight. Feels bad. And Matty Ice will get the first down and then some. Sixteen yards today on three carries. All right, Matty, relax. Zay Jones, player of the game for the Tigers. 107 yards, two touchdowns on four catches. Babineau, player of the game for the Wildcats. Fullback just was ridiculous. MJ Gator Jr. following blocks downfield. MJ off to the races, and he's gone. Touchdown, Savannah State. I feel like I'm working against my myself on offense. It's it's a weird feeling. It's rough. It's hard to explain. Get him! Oh boy. Parker Thomas makes that stop. There was nothing but the kicker in front of him. Oh, my. All right, let's go 4-3. See what we can do here. Thomas and Thomas in the secondary. You'd love to see that. Go back dive. Babineau, what is that? Come on. Sometimes these animations, man, I tell you. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, spike the ball. Good penalty. Or not. They're not going to call it. Zach, I thought you said you paid these refs, man. Come on now. Fullback is just running all over the field. Spiking the ball like he owns the place. Here he goes again. Nice tackle from Tweedy. Freshman DN. Babino with 178 yards and a touchdown. Unreal. Yeah. 
Roll back again. Oh, big hit this time. They've had the ball for over 14 minutes. Unbelievable. Get him. There we go. Good stop. Fourth down and seven. I thought you did. Guess the secretary lost the check and root. Oh my goodness. That's a feels bad, man. Rodgers with the long of 71 in his career. That is ridiculous. Wow, he almost kept that in there. That would have been insane. All right, we're tossing it out. Rocky Clearwater down the right sideline. Rocky Clearwater in the clear, and he's gone. Touchdown, Savannah State. There are no flags on the field. What a run. On a toss. How often do those work? Look at this juke, this is disgusting. Good old Rocky Clearwater. Wow. And we got the 50 burger for the Tigers. Before that carry, I think Clearwater had like six yards rushing in the game on six carries. <laughs> it was rough. But on a toss play, that's crazy. I rarely run them because they just don't seem to work too well. But I guess when you got speed like Rocky Clearwater, they, they work pretty well. Ten seconds left in the game. Oh my goodness. See, and then I under-pursue that one. Unreal. Just let this game end. Stop Stop celebrating. You're down by a million. All right, that is it, folks. Savannah State is going to get the dub 52-17 to over the Bethune-Cookman Wildcats. Tigers are bull eligible now, 6-3 and three on the season. Aaron Patrick has been named the starter going forward here this season by head coach Zach Sandlin. But Jeremy Carroll, the junior, will ride the bench. Will that be the final time we see Jeremy Carroll under center for the defending national champions, the Savannah State Tigers? Let's take a look at these stats. 478 yards of offense. Bethune Cookman, 261 yards on the ground. Good God. Only one turnover for the Tigers. That was that interception that Carroll threw. And 12 penalties this game. Fantastic. They had the ball for nearly 15 minutes. We put up 21 in the first, only scored three points in the second and third combined, and then scored four touchdowns in the fourth quarter to put it away. All right, Patrick, six of nine, 188 yards, two touchdowns, no picks, long 47. MJ, 120 yards, two touchdowns. Rocky Clearwater, five carries, 86 yards on a score. Roebuck, 34 yards. Matty Ice with 16. Patrick had 8. Jeremy Carroll lost 7 yards. Fantastic. Fumble for Roebuck. Joseph Dorman, what's up, man? How are you? Zay Jones, 4 catches, 107 yards, 2 scores. Jarmel Lewis, 2 for 77 and a touchdown. Matt Meeks, 1 for 38. MJ lost a yard on his reception. And his O-line just... Look at all these All-Americans. Look at them. And they were getting pushed back all game long. Griffin and Farrell with seven tackles. Parker Thomas with six. I missed probably six tackles with him. He was just, I don't know, it was, it was weird. It was really difficult going from Cody Lee Jr., the free safety, to Parker Thomas over on the strong safety spot. And they're both just two different player builds. 
Lots of tackles for loss in this game. Two sacks for Rashad Allen. No interceptions. One pass deflection for Numa. Two forced fumbles. One for Griffin and one for Numa. Recoveries for Crooks. And Cody Lee Jr. returned his 17 yards for the scoop and score. And nothing insane on returns. Feels bad. I wanted a kick return for a touchdown. Players of the game, Babineau, fullback for Bethune-Cookman, obviously, as they fall to 3-5. and five. Wagner and Kelly, MJ Gator Jr., Zay Jones, and Cody Lee Jr., players of the game for the Savannah State Tigers. All right, we're going to go ahead and save it here. And our next game, Northern Colorado, 5-2 and two on the season, traveling to take on the Cal Poly Mustangs, who are 6-1. and one. This is going to be just a computer game, guys. We're going to watch it. I'm going to commentate. It's going to be a fun one. And I'm going to be doing that one next. So, you know, stick around for that. It should be fun. Give my thumbs a break since I just played... How many games did I just play today? Four? That's my fourth game I played today already. But yeah, anyway. That is it for this stream, guys. If you haven't already, please slap the like button. Subscribe if you are new. And join our Discord community so you can get yourself your own custom player in this series for one of our 12 schools. Get on the field and, you know, eventually get into the pros. The EFL, our 32-team fully customized professional league in Madden 06. But give me 5 to 10 minutes. I will get this stream set up and ready to go. And then we'll get it popping, guys. Northern Colorado Bears, number 19 in the country at the 6th ranked Cal Poly Mustangs. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Take it easy.